today I'm going to show you how to create a slide like this. Um, a slide that has five different icons, some text, and really what I'm going to focus on is show you how to do this quickly and easily. Because this looks really clean and perfectly aligned, and I know that can be super tricky and time consuming. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite shortcuts in PowerPoint to put something like this together in a snap. Okay. So we're going to start with um, a slide that's not quite there. It does have the, the title, and I have my icons here that I grabbed from a template. And then I've begun to put in my text. But let me show you the quickest way to uh, add in your other bits of copy, change the colors, resize things, and then align them so they look super smooth and super professional like this. Okay, so first thing, let's deal with our icons first. So I'm going to grab all of my icons together. And you just do that by just, you know, selecting some part of the slide and kind of dragging down your cursor until you've got the whole bunch. And once they're all selected, now anything I do to one of them is going to happen to all of them. So I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard, grab one of the corners, and increase the size. Super simple. Whoops. I let go of the shift key, see? <laughs> Don't let go of the shift key like I just did, because if you do, it will um, not necessarily proportionally resize them, so they'll get either too wide or too long. So holding down the shift key is what makes it a proportional change in scale. Great, so now I've got them about the size that I want, and the next thing I want to do is to change the color. Um, it depends on what kind of icons you're using. These are icons that came from a template I purchased on Creative Market, and so they are customizable. So now I'm going to still keep them all selected. I'm going to go up here to my Format menu, and I'm going to look for my fill color. And the color I want to use is this green that appears elsewhere in my slide. And I'm just going to click on that green, and boom, all five of them have been changed. Great. So the next thing I want to do is deal with my text. I have my first bit of text here. But I want to have something similar under each of the icons. So I'm just grabbing both of those pieces of text, and then I'm using the command D, which is duplicate. And so it's just duplicating them for me. Now they're not perfectly aligned. It does sort of, you can see they're kind of, if I drag my little line here, you can see that they're not all at the same level. But we'll fix that in just a minute. So for now, I'm going to first just change what the text says for each of them. So this one's going to stay, say stage one. We've got stage two, stage three, and stage four. And then I'm going to change my text for each of them to match what the, uh, what the final version is going to say. Whoops. So just changing the text there real quick. Okay, now it's time to get these things aligned. So first I'm gonna grab all my icons and I'm just gonna drag them up a little because I want them kind of at the center. PowerPoint does have these nifty guides you can use and you can see it tells you exactly where the middle line is. So right at 0, 0.00. Um, and that's where I want to move all my things. So I'm gonna just move them down and you can see this little marker here tells you when you're right at that center point. So I've got those all there. Now I'm going to move up all of my text to just kind of pop right underneath them. But the text looks a little too small for me. So the quick shortcut to increase text size without having to go into each little box is again to have them all selected and then come up here to um, this increase font size button. Quick shortcut and I'm just going to click it a couple times until it gets up to 12 points. You can also use this drop down menu to find the exact font size you want. And that's about the size that I want these to be. Now they're too squished together and they're not aligned, so let's deal with that next. But let's start with our icons and make sure those are aligned. This is one of my favorite little hacks in PowerPoint. It's the uh, Align and Distribute menu. Now you can see I've dragged them into my menu. You can customize your menu in PowerPoint so you have all these little tools and shortcuts available to you. And the way you do that is you go into toolbars and you, you can kind of customize what you want. If you don't have that customized yet, the other way to address this is to go into Format and you can use Alignment there. But I'm going to use my shortcuts because it's even quicker and we're here to talk about the fast and easy way to do this. So you can see uh, this little 
button is the align top. So I want them all to be aligned at the top. Great. So the two that were, you probably saw the two that were scooted down a bit just are all leveled now. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to first grab all five of these. Whoops. All five of those and scooch them down so I have a little space. And now we'll deal with the stages. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to align them to the top. Beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to grab the bottom row. And same thing, I'm going to line them to the top. And then I'm just going to inch them up just a wee bit there so that they're kind of what feels to me as the ideal spacing between the stages and the words beneath. All right, so now the last thing, we're pretty close here. The last thing is I want to make sure that each of these vertical units, right, the icon with the text underneath, that those are lined up with one another. And the way I do that is I'm going to grab that whole unit and I'm going to come back up to my menu here again. And this time I am going to um, make sure that they are uh, aligned at the center. So it's just quickly taking each, each piece and making sure that they're now vertically aligned to one another. And voila, basically that's, that's uh, all it takes. Just took me two minutes there and uh, using all those shortcuts, this should be super quick for you too. Hope you found this helpful.